What is going on? Happy Saturday. Saturday the 24th of August. Three weeks out. Three weeks out today. And of course we've got the brew on deck. <laughs> Olivia loves it. Um, and she's back in the vlogs. Has yeah. anyone missed her? Maybe you didn't notice. Got her back. Might have not noticed, but. MIA. Oh, she's back. Yeah. So she's been away for four weeks and she went away when I was eight weeks out. Got back Monday, that just went. Sub four weeks out. So now we're sub four weeks out. Um, three weeks out officially as of today. We're gonna take you through a bit of a day, which is kind of the same shit every week, every day um, on the weekends. But here we are, might be a bit of a prep update through today's video. Some things are happening, some things are changing. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to now this coffee and go do some steps, go and do some check-in photos, drop Olivia at work, and then we're gonna get, get on with the day. We've got push, push on the agenda, and let's get after it. There's, yeah, not much else to add aside from that, but we'll crack on. That is some posing done at three weeks out. I probably should just put a jumper on because you don't need to see me in my trunk, standing here in my trunks any longer. So, where's my phone? Reviewing the clips. Um, bit of a slight update on where things are at this week. So, we've actually dropped to almost about a kilo this week, which is kind of wild given where we are at in prep. Um, some few new low weigh-ins, um, but averaging sort of low 88s, give or take, um, which, you know, is, oh, let me get this straight, um, which is kind of down now below where it was pre the diet break a couple weeks back, um, but obviously with a better look. Um, in terms of other updates in the prep, food didn't change this week, but cardio was eliminated, so, no cardio this week. Will cardio be implemented next week? I don't know. We'll find out when I check in. Um, so the thought process there was so potentially a few of the sessions last week, last week, the um, output on some of the leg sessions probably wasn't quite up to where I would like. So we've rectified that and obviously alleviated some fatigue via the cardio, so no spin bike this week, which has actually been quite welcome to be brutally honest. I, there was periods where I was doing no cardio in the diet break, but I probably almost wanted to do it then because I was on more food, I was de-voluming, whereas now it's just no cardio. Um, so yeah, a bit more pop in the, in the legs, which is nice, um, so to alleviate that fatigue. Um, and I think that's probably a little bit noticeable in the photos I took this morning, um, coupled with being quite flat, I think. But <laughs> I'm three weeks out. I'm half delusional in terms of critiquing my physique. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep getting some hydration into me and get my greens into me and I'm gonna shower and then it'll be pre-workout time. All right, just sitting down for meal number one, pre-workout meal, chicken and rice. Obviously, I don't need to show you that. That's the same shit, different day. Um, how nice is it, the fact that it's like light at 7.30 a.m.? You kind of forget when it's the, um, when it's through the winter months and it's not, let's say, light till 8 a.m. Um, let's get this set up. Um, yeah, when it's not light till like 8 a.m., that kind of thing. You kind of forget what it's like. 
Um, but I think we experienced that a bit in Noosa and it's just so much better, isn't it? I just can't wait for daylight savings. Not even daylight savings, just the period where it's like, yeah, 6.30 a.m., it's light outside. I'm a morning person, as you can as you can tell, hence, obviously, in all these videos, I'm up quite early. Um, which is why I'm looking forward to in three weeks when it's show day on the 14th of September and I'll be outside doing my check-in photos at like 6.30, 6.45, give or take. Um, Cause obviously the schedule's out for that and I'll be on at, what time will I be on? I'll be on like 9.30 a.m. So I'll discuss that in further depth in another video. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have this pre-workout meal. Watch some telly, listen to a bit more of the bro chat, the lads. It's good that Phil Ad's doing two a week. We love that. So, without further ado, let's chat out. Alrighty, here we are. Just pulled up at Powerhouse. We're right in for push today. So I actually did this session on Tuesday because um, I had Tuesday off work because Olivia got back Monday night. So I took Tuesday off to spend the day with her, which was lovely. So gonna be doing that same rotation again. So obviously the new tech shoulder press, Nautilus vertical press, but you're gonna see that after this anyway. One thing, you know, as we enter three weeks out, and obviously I've discussed earlier in the video, cardio's been pulled out, that kind of thing. It's interesting, and I hate making comparisons and all of that. Um, obviously I compared to my last prep, of course, but you then see other people that are prepping, um, and it's interesting because I feel like, I wouldn't say I'm ahead, I think I'm where I need to be. Um, but I didn't think we needed to dig, dig, dig because we um, got a lot of the fat off earlier on in the prep. So we're in a good spot to sort of, I don't want to use the word cruise in, but don't have to like dig, dig, dig and dig and push deeper. So obviously this week we've, yeah, no cardio. Food didn't change, um, but um, I don't know what that's going to do next week. So I don't want to comment on that. But yeah, it's not as if we've had to go low, 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 like lowest food has gone is 325 carb on a training day, 275 on a non-training day, which relative for me is low, but it's not as if we're on 50 carb a day, <laughs> like or 100 carb, and we're not doing hours of cardio, we're not doing daily cardio, none of that. Um, step count has been 10K, um, or the, the prescribed average, but the average has actually been more like 11 to 12. Um, never went above three cardio sessions, which was actually just like, it was always three, um, even in the off season. And then up until last week was just three. So we haven't had to, you know, put the foot down, metaphorically drop the hammer um, and just burn ourselves out, which is good. You don't have to sort of, yeah, that's it's it's something that I'm learning more and more is that you can feel like I'm like honestly I'm feeling pretty good given where we're at relatively. Um, I'm quite surprised. But am I surprised? I'm not actually that surprised, but you know I feel like we're in a good spot. So with what I'm trying to say and articulate is I I don't think you need to be driving yourself so far into the ground, so far into a hole that you just totally bury yourself um, in a contest prep. I don't think that's necessary and I think there's ways to circumvent that. So, with that being said, let's go into the session. I'll finish my pre. A little sushi. Let's see how we go. It's 8.20 so hopefully it's not too rammed in there. Whew. All right, that is push wrapped up. So, I suppose something to follow on from the pre, the pre chats, um, the pre gym chats um, was about sort of that digging, digging into a prep. I think you know if you're three weeks out and you needed to dig, um, dig hard, whether it's cardio, whether it's low food, yada yada yada. I don't think you're probably in a good spot, and you're probably not um, haven't executed the prep overly well, or you weren't in a good spot. You didn't give me enough, enough yourself enough time that kind of thing so um, if you're needing to chase your tail towards the end maybe you should consider either pushing back your prep or finding a later show but with that being said 
that was push which was great and the weather is absolutely glorious by the way um, it is it says 19 degrees but I feel like it's hot, hotter than that feels hotter than that should I say um, with the windows open um, definitely got the sweat going which was lovely um, at this stage so let's let's chat about the session might do a bit of an overlay here so what did we do we did we started with the lateral raise um, on the what is it the flex fitness uh, machine lateral so I do I do three sets on this um, the I do a 20 repper with the stack um, and then I pin 10 kilos um, for I think 12 I got um, and then I do a third set again with the stack for a 20 ripper which felt um, you know pretty good delts are pumped from the get-go this is becoming increasingly challenging and am requiring a bit of a swing but um, I'm not too fussed to be honest it's good to start good to start with this get the delts pumped um, then the new tech shoulder press so sticking with four plates plus 2.5 on the top set got eight reps um, and that is counting that lift off rep because um, I I kind of think it is but when I've got a spot I won't count it um, on Tuesday I did get this for eight as well but probably needed some assistance from Olivia on that eighth rep I'm also conscious of the depth and making sure that you know it's adequate here so um, you know pretty happy with that um, can, all things considered um, and then the back off with 3.75 I think I got 10 on this um, as well did require a few pauses before some of the latter reps but you know all things considered solid set um, the Nautilus vertical press, that was um, that was solid enough. I say I got three and a half plates for five. I did go for that sixth rep and would have had it with a, an assistance, but I don't think I'm in a good position to be fighting that rep, you know, sort of I went for it, realized it wasn't there, dumped it. Um, and then a back off with three plates, I think for nine from memory. Um, and I, the reason I, keep, like, I just keep this kit in because I just love it and I get so much chest stimulation from it. Like after even, what was it, Tuesday's session, I was just incredibly sore from it. So I'll continue to keep this in for as long as I can. And it's been in my program for two years, three years, and it's not moving. <laughs> um, and then the dip, um, so I think it was five and a half plates total. So obviously the most challenging part is actually getting it down from the get-go, but have the seat belt um, to lock myself in once I am in. So it's actually pretty solid, still managed seven reps here. Um, so can't complain on that. Um, and obviously a back off as well that I don't think I filmed. Um, the Flex Fitness Overhead Tricep Extension, lovely kit by the way. Um, really gets a good stretch in the long head. Um, so do I do a 15 repper with probably half a stack to start and then go up in weight um, to about three quarters of the stack for I think I got nine reps here which was actually really solid and then I do a back or a third set with the same weight as the first set I seem to find that's the you know a good uh, way to you know sandwich the top set with a couple high rep lighter relative um, sets um, and then some cuff laterals just the two sets on here the first one being a bit heavier the second one been slightly lighter but then also with a with a drop set in there then the tricep press down with the gym pin attachment and then a couple of D handles um, so just I think I did three sets here so it's kind of like I do a sort of a 15 repper and then a couple 10 reppers um, and then some abs which I don't think I filmed um, super set with um, some planks and then the new tech chest fly machine um just a couple sets on there to round out get a chest pump you know um but yeah so that was the session and then obviously some posing at the end um just to see how things are looking um not too dissimilar to how we were looking on tuesday i mean i say that but you know there potentially are some changes but anyway with that being said i don't want to ramble too much longer i'm absolutely ravenous it's about 10 to 11 so good timing got something to pick up at the post office then get home cream of rice yada 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 check in with aj edit some of this vlog but you don't need to know that let's crack on how good does that look cream of rice with the whey sludge on top, absolute treat. We're gonna pop some 
salt on, some low salt. Um, absolutely ravenous. Obviously showing up. You've seen the session, you've seen the push session. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm gonna just eat this because I'm hungry. Um, and I don't know whether there's anything else to report, but I will check it back in with you. When there is something, sorry, I'm getting distracted by putting rocks, <laughs> uh, salt flakes on my post workout, but I'm delirious. <laughs> so we're about to just duck out, go grab Olivia from work, and I'm about to crack a can open of a ultraviolet purple monster. Now, yes, I've had one of these before, but not in Australia. Um, I've had them in the US, but they're officially in Coles. So you're not having to pay exorbitant amounts at, um, at like Easy Marts or anything for um, a purple monster. I have, like I know Coles probably brought them out maybe two or three weeks ago, I think. Um, I've tried to buy them online um, by the, and, and at like various Coles stores over the past couple of weeks, but unfortunately haven't been able to find them. So fortunately, my Coles delivery that got delivered last night, I ordered a few and they came. So with that being said, let's give it a taste test. And it's very cold because I had it in the freezer for the past half an hour or so. Ooh. Now, oof, let me have, wait, one more sip before I give you my, give you my feedback. I'm gonna say, it's not as strong and as sweet as um, the grape ones that I've had in the, or the purple ones I've had in the past. It's obviously grape flavor, that fake grape. Um, it's like, it's like a white monster, but with a dabble of that grape in there if you know what I mean. So, to be honest, like it, it's, I reckon it's up there with the white money. I reckon it's up there. Comment down below if you've managed to find one and let me know your feedback. So, I really like it. Hence, I'm gonna take another sip. Yeah, I approve. Some of the last few flavors, strawberries and cream, yeah. But that one, yeah, I approve. Light in the room? Yeah. All right, it is now the next day. It's now Sunday afternoon. Um, I think the last clip was me, the last clip was me taste testing the, the purple money and I had another one today and can confirm I very much do enjoy them. I reckon up there with the white. But anyway, um, today went to a posing slash preps thing over at Peak Performance. So Matt and Tom um, ran that over there, which was great for AMB, which will be the show on the 22nd, Sunday the 22nd of September, which is four weeks out from today, which was pretty cool. Dropped my dax, got into, new word, banana hammock. <laughs> Hunter he's, just, he's just like this. Um, Hunter Labrada referred to his posing trunks as banana hammocks. So that's the new. I, I think that's the new, the new word. <laughs> But with that being said, we just ticked over we, during the week, and since I filmed last, mm, 500. We're up to 500 subs, and in fact, I think I'm actually up to 520. Oh gosh. 530. That was quick. It was it quick. It was literally 500. It was 500 Tuesday, during the week. Yeah. So shout out to any new subs out there. So if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all of that. And until next time. Catch you in the next video. Ciao. Sure.